I know. Okay, so something a little bit different today. Now I know most of you are here um, for resin crafts and this is to do with resin. Um, but I have a second channel which is, I've only just started, it's called Angel Ruby Arts. So I'd love you to go over there and check it out. It's more the arty side of me. Diamond painting, um, colouring and it will have some drawing and bits and pieces. Um, as time goes on, but I say it's Ben just started it, so it's um, even minuscule than my tiny little channel here. Uh, so I love diamond painting. It's one of my favourite pastimes to do. Um, that's peaceful and tranquil, and I can watch videos and I can help the children with their homework and all things like while I'm doing it. So it's it's a great. Um, uh, I find it a great anxiety helper, mental health sort of thing, you know, when I get really stressed and I get really, um, you know, life sort of builds up on me, I tend to diamond paint and I love it. So, in my video I did these, which is Animal Crossing, now I know loads of you love Animal Crossing, um, I did used to play the version when my daughter was little, but I haven't sort of played the new one, so I'm not quite sure who these characters are, I recognise some of the figures but I don't I don't know their names and so I saw them and I thought oh they look really cute I'd really like to do those but they didn't have um, I was making some Christmas tree decorations which is also up on my um, other channel and I thought oh I love these but they didn't have them in the thick perspex without like, the Christmas decorations coming these are stickers now that makes them versatile in the fact that you can use them for books, for decorating furniture, that kind of thing. But I wanted to make some bag charms. And I wanted to wait and make one for my daughter. She likes this guy here. And so I thought, um, oh well I'll, you know, I'll, I'll convert them to bag charms. So I did a tester piece and that's with this guy. So what I did was I peeled off the sticker, put it on the silicone and I UV resined on the top and then I sprinkled a little bit of glitter because obviously they do lose their shine and I thought oh, I really like the shine so I sprinkled it with a little tiny bit of glitter so that it still has that shine and I but it was really thin I brushed it on and I did several coats and it was really quite thin so you know you get that tacky film on the outside of UV resin not all of them do it, but some do. And one of my favourites to use is this one. Um, it doesn't. I have found that it doesn't um, yellow and things like that. And I quite like this one. This is the one I did in my video. And I, I love this one. This is my favourite. But it still has a really small bit of tack. And normally, there are several ways that I um, deal with this. But when I tried to use... Now this is um, for, this is when I used to do um, nail art. This is an Ultra V gloss um, top coat that you put under the UV lamp over the top of your nails. And I thought, and I've used this on a few pieces of resin and it works really, really well. It's really high gloss and it's beautiful. But as soon as I put it on, I mean this is much better because I warmed him up and bent him back. It bent, it boomeranged and I'm like, oh, didn't do that with the UV resin, only with the top coat. Now I had a question um, from um, somebody who watched one of my other videos on the little um, diamond painting charms, um, Christmas decorations, that kind of thing. And she said the same, she tried to coat hers with a UV top coat and found that it did the same. So I'm not quite sure what the difference is between the top coats and the UV, but when I put the top coat on it bent. So. I've had to think of a few different solutions. Um, so I'm gonna have to think, because I have used this before on my diamond paintings. It does take away some of the shine, but I might try and do some of the glitter. Um, but the only thing is, if I sprayed this on UV resin, it mists, it goes opaque, and it has this misty, film so this does not like UV resin so that throws me with a challenge the other option I have is um, to use normal nail varnish 
Now with these, uh, this, these are nearly empty, but um, with these, the only thing is it doesn't always um, dry streak free because by the time you've start at the top and you've got all the way to the bottom, this has started to dry and so it's, it's sometimes hard, you can see some of the, breath, the brush strokes and that frustrates me. So I'll have to see how I get on with that. I haven't found a perfect solution. So what I'm intending to do, this one I didn't put anything on it. This one, or one of the other ones, I'm going to stick it to an acetate sheet. Now the only thing that stopped me doing that before was that UV resin doesn't stick to acetate, it peels off. But I use this film with my shakers, with my um, resin shakers, but because you do a smaller aperture than your resin piece and then you dome over the top, and so you're encapsulating the sides, um, it, it, it's fine, it stays where it is. So I'm gonna try and do that. So my first attempt, I'm going to stick one of the stickers onto the acetate sheet and then I'm going to um, cut around it and then I'm going to UV the top and the, the back and the front with a little bit of sparkly glitter and we'll see what that looks like. Then I, I may try and top coat with one of these. I will not be using one of these. I will top coat with one of these and see if I can get a nice result. If I can't get a nice result, we will. I mean, the other option would be to use epoxy resin and leave them to dry overnight. Have I got the patience for that? Not sure. I do lots of things that take me days, so we might. Um, so I'll see. I have got a couple of different UV resins that might give me less tack. It doesn't give me lots, but it's enough that I know that if this was a bag charm, and I put, um, I put it on and it's got any slight tack on there at all. And my daughter puts it on her bag. She's going to pick up every bit of fluff from here to school. And I know that she's going to come home and be upset that it doesn't look as pristine as it did. So we're going to try and combat that. So yeah, if you'd like to see how we get on with these and um, turn your own stickers. You don't have to use um, diamond painting stickers. You could do this with normal stickers and we'll see how it goes and um, yeah my, my, I did originally worry that the adhesive on the back might men bend and warp under the UV light but it didn't on this test piece this only bent when I used the UV top coat so we're going to try and do it without right that was a lot wasn't it keep watching and we'll see how we go okay so we're going to pick two I'll pick the doggy peel off really well and then pop him down I don't want him too close to the edge and a little doggy then I'm going to pick this the llama <laughs> you people who know about Animal Crossing are going to be laughing at me I don't have time to play games anymore but they are cute and then we're going to have this one. Okay, so what I thought I would do is I'm going to UV resin this one on the top and sprinkle. And then on the back. This one, I'm not going to UV resin on the front. I'm going to um, put a little bit of glitter the same as this one but I'm going to spray varnish that one on the front and resin on the back um, and then hopefully that will be enough and I'll see because if that gives me better sparkle I don't know I'm torn because when I use this clear varnish it dulls the sparkle anyway but when you encapsulate it you do lose the 3d effect of the diamonds so I'm going to do the two and we'll compare after and we'll see which one turned out the best. Okay, let's go.
Okay, so we both cut it. Um, we'll top coat that one, and we'll do the back of that one after. Okay, so I've done two coats of UV on the back, one coat of UV on the front. I've left the front so that it's just a shallow coat so that you can still feel the, the um, drills through it. The back is nice and smooth, but it's still a little bit tacky. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a normal nail varnish quick dry top coat. And I'm going to leave this, say, shallow because I quite like the 3D effect on there. Whereas you totally lost the 3D effect when you did this one. I did this one. So if I did another coat on there, I'm nervous that I'd lose totally. And it's, it, it is actually really sturdy. Putting it on the acetate first has really helped. Whereas with this one, I didn't. And I think it sort of curled more and it still feels a little bit flimsy. So let's just give this a quick go. I'll do it front and back. And then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so while I wait for this one to dry, put you over there. This one, I'm going to... <sighs> hmm... I'm going to resin the back. If I don't cover the front, I'm worried that, because these are not, you can move them easily enough. In fact, a few of them moved around while I cut it out. So I'm going to resin the back and I'm going to try and clear coat the front and we'll see the difference between the two and if I don't like it then I'll just resin the front like the other one. Okay let's see how we go. So thin, two thin coats is I found was better than one thick one and also I have been finding that um, if I brush on the resin, let it settle for a little minute and then just um, cure in 30 second blasts then it, because it doesn't get so hot, it has a cool down in between it doesn't tend to warp so much because acetate doesn't like getting hot 
it tends to warp. I'm still not 100% why they warp so much under UV nail top coat. If anybody knows why or has any idea, please let me know. Um, yeah, I just presumed it would work the same as UV gel, but it doesn't. Obviously, it's got a slightly different chemical composition, but um, yeah, it wasn't uh, fabulous. And I'm just seeing if I've got any dips in there. Because I've got some dips, I'm just going to use a cocktail stick. Because sometimes the brush leaves like little marks. When, especially when you try and do like a really thin coat. Then I'm going to sprinkle a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of glitter. Just to give that, because with diamond paintings and things, I love the sparkle on them. And obviously when you try and coat them with things, you lose a little bit of that sparkle. 30 seconds and um, we'll see how okay so go to Now I'm going to give him, make sure he's got a nice, slightly thicker coat on this one because I haven't got any um, resin going on the front. So I want it to be really sturdy. That's it, just making sure there's no brush marks and that we're even. Okay, hello. Okay, so I have resined the front of this one but just shallow, the back a good couple of layers and I have top coated with nail varnish on this one. On this one I double coated the back, put a coat of clear nail varnish and then I left the front um, so we got that more 3D effect and I sprayed two coats of the car sealer. There's that one. That one is the one I did first off. And then we'll just see if we can see all of those. And then this one 
is one that hasn't been done at all. So I just wanted to compare the sparkle. And to be honest, I don't think he's lost a little bit of the sort of sparkle of the gems, but it does shine nicely. That really has got a nice shine because it's got... So, now what I'm going to do is put some bales on the back and then we can use them for bag charms. It's up to yourselves what which one you prefer. Uh, this one is my least favourite because you've lost the 3D. It's just like blobs. This one I quite like the fact that you can still see the bumps in the 3D and this one is lovely because you can still see clearly the diamond painting effect. Um, yeah, so it's, it's up to you really which one you want to do. But definitely I think fixing with the spray or a clear varnish is better than nail, um, top coat nail gel, uh, UV doesn't really work it just curls everything up I'm not a big fan of that you could do them in epoxy if you wanted to coat them and then leave them for a day that would work as well or unless you have a fast setting epoxy and then you could be done in a few hours um yeah so these are sweet I'm going to put the bells on now and then we'll uh, yeah we'll see how they look Okay, they're both uber cute, very pretty. Now I'm just going to put these little um, bobs on the top. You can get lots of different ones of these. Um, you can get like little keychain things. Um, you can get, I'm just going to use some of these O-rings. Now the reason, jump rings I should say, not O-rings. Really. Um, these are quite thick. I wouldn't go for a thin jump ring because you want some stability in this. I have got some slightly bigger ones but I think I prefer the size of these. Um, we'll see if it fits. Might be too small. Um, but I think these are slightly stronger. Uh, are we going to be able to get it to close? I'm not the best at closing them. I could do with another pair of pliers and some of these round things. They're not the easiest things. Let me see. Oh, yeah. 
is closed. But I could put a bigger, oh it's got plenty of room there. Okay. So there we go, there we have it. I should put another one on there. I might, depends on how long, whether my daughter wants the ring, I might just put it straight into there. But anyway, thank you ever so much for watching. Um, if you do want to see how I did the little diamond painting, guys, pop over to my other channel, which is um, Angel Ruby Arts, and they're on there. Um, I have got some diamond painting uh, videos on this channel, um, but people tended to not watch them on this channel, and YouTube... Um, if you do a video, too broad a spectrum of videos, um, then YouTube sometimes doesn't like it. And I found that when I posted a video that wasn't my normal resin and things like that, then I tended to get penalised for it, and my videos wouldn't get promoted the same as the ones that were um, sort of more in line with the videos on my channel. So I've created Angel Ruby Arts, and over there will be. Um, diamond paintings and as I said more arty drawing things like that um, colouring um, adult colouring things like that that um, don't fit in the criteria of this channel so if you'd like to see more of that pop on over if you are happy to stay this side and carry on watching my resin and craft videos then you are more than welcome you are welcome on either or both your um, fantastic to me you're a great inspiration and I love chatting with you guys you've got there's some wonderful people in this little tiny um, family we have so thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe and I will see you soon take care